Wild magic. Okay, the one that I'm totally not afraid of. Um, perhaps you were blessed by a fae, sure, whatever. Uh, wild magic surge no longer requires DM permission. I think that's good. Sides of Chaos is now guaranteed to give you a roll on the wild magic surge table. They stuck to the wild magic surge table. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I am not a hundred percent sure how I f yeah. So I mentioned that like wild magic to me does not feel like a subclass that should be in the base player handbook rules if it's still used the wild magic search table. Because again, the wild magic I think the wild magic search table is one of the coolest things that they've made. I also think that players who play this outside of a one-shot, like players that play this in a consistent campaign, I, I don't necessarily like that idea. And I know that that's mostly off of the idea of like, hey, you can fireball your entire party. Because you also have stuff like you can cast Magic Missile at 5th level, you can cast Levitate on yourself, you can take an additional action immediately, you regain all of your sorcery points, you know, there's, there's some good stuff in there. But to me, it's like... I, I don't know necessarily... If this is, I don't necessarily know if this is a good idea, you know? Like 49 to 50, you can't speak for the next minute whenever you try pink bubbles float out of your mouth. Okay, so you can't cast verbal spells anymore all of a sudden, you know? Again, I'm not saying, well, like, I, I don't have a strong opinion on this. This is not a hill I'm going to die on. If they want to put wild magic into the player's handbook, it's fine. But this feels like one of those that, that doesn't necessarily belong there. Because Wild Magic, to me, has always felt like that subclass that... And I've, I've mentioned this once before. I've mentioned this during the Sorcerer part. To me, this feels like the subclass where it's like, well... If one of your players is playing this, people are not necessarily going to like it. So, I don't know. Bend luck now costs one sorcery point instead of two. Sure. Um, I think bend luck is just re like you get to re-roll stuff. Spend two sorcery points to roll a d4 and apply the number rolled as a bonus penalty to the creature's roll. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I will say this. Two sorcery points for, you know, special kind of guidance feels like meh. And then Wild Bombardment now allows you to use a Wild Magic Surge effect that casts a spell or that replenishes your expended sorcery points. Um, okay, so it just affects... Okay, I'm sure. We'll see what happens. All right, let's have a look. Uh, your spell casting can unleash surges of untamed magic no more than once per turn. You can roll a d20 immediately after you cast a sorcerer spell with a spell slot. Roll a 20, roll on the wild magic search table. Didn't this used to be roll a 1? <laughs> that's, that's such a dumb change. It used to be, in, in the player's handbook, it was if you rolled a 1... A wild magic surge happens. Here it's if you roll a 20, a wild magic surge happens. Which, to be fair, like, I think the idea here is that they're thinking like, oh, the wild magic surge table, that's positive on average. And it's like, so we want to, to give you the feeling that it's a positive effect, but do you really want to waste a 20, like a natural 20, on a wild magic surge roll? Like, you know... I'd, I'd love this to be a one. 
I don't know. It, like, a wild magic surge is not something that should be happening, it feels. You know? It's like, oh, I have too much magic. It explodes out. I don't know. That's the way that I, I, I treat it. Um, other than that, it's just like, yeah, you can't meta magic it, and if it normally requires concentration, it doesn't require concentration in this case. Woo! Tides of Chaos. You can manipulate the forces of chance and chaos to gain advantage on a d20 test. Once you do so, you must finish a long rest before you can use this feature again. Immediately after you cast a sorcerer spell with a spell slot before you regain the use of this feature, you automatically roll on the wild magic search table and regain the use of this feature. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, actually, that's kind of how I think I used to play it. I once played like an NPC wild sorcerer who was in combat with the party. And I think I pretty much did this. Um... So yeah, now it's just you gain advantage on a d20 test, you cast a spell with a spell slot before the long rests, you always roll on the wild magic search table and regain the use of this feature. Um, which means Tides of Chaos is a pretty dangerous effect. I, I do, I will say, like, Tides of Chaos used to be your dm can have you roll on the wild magic searcher search table i've never been a fan of that so i'm pretty happy about this yeah sorry bend luck you have the ability to twist fate using your uh wild magic immediately after another creature you can see rolls a d20 for a d20 test use your reaction did it always used to use your reaction yeah. Spend one sorcery point to roll a d4. Apply the number rolled as a bonus penalty to the creature's roll. Still, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Like, one d4 on average is two and a half. Which means you need to have the feeling that you're almost going to succeed or fail. It's almost like, you know... To be perfectly honest, you can... All, this is almost what my bullshit points do anyway. So I honestly, well, to be fair, you can combine my bullshit points and bend luck, so because it's two different sources. But this this doesn't necessarily feel like a very powerful feature. It doesn't have to be, but you know, what was the six like here? To be fair, here it was resistant to a damage type. Oh no, but you can add your charisma modifier to a damage roll of that spell. So, you know, I I. I don't want to say this is a bad feature, but a d4 is not that much to spend a sorcery point for. Honestly, this is a feature where I would be like, if this does not change the outcome of the roll, uh, you don't spend the sorcery point. I think I would add that to bend, bend luck. Um, because it's just a d4. If it was like a d6 or a d8 or two d4s, I wouldn't, then I wouldn't do that, but you know. Uh, control Chaos, uh, you get a modicum of control over the surges whenever you roll on the Wild Magic search table, you can roll twice and use either number. You know, <sighs> again, if you're playing in a campaign and you're playing a Wild Magic Sorcerer, I still don't think you're necessarily, you necessarily like your table, but, you know, anyway. Uh, wild Bombardment. Immediately after you cast a Sorcerer spell with a spell slot, you can create an effect of your choice from the Wild Magic Search table, provided the effect cast a spell restores all expended Sorcery points. Once you use this feature, you can't do so again until you finish 1d4 long rests. See, this, in my opinion, is a powerful feature. This is a powerful feature. This is, like, if you compare that to Draconic Presence, this is good, because this is literally like... Okay, I have now, like, I have now cast, like, my final couple of sorcery points. I'm going to do this to regain 18 sorcery points, which means as long as you have wild bombardments, you know that you have 36 sorcery points. Because I don't think they lowered the amount that you start with, right? That's still, yeah, it's still equal to your to your level, except for level 1. 
So like, you know, if I'm being honest, this is a very powerful feature just off of the fact of like you regain all expended sorcery points. Other than that, it's like, I don't know if, not, if like, if you die within the next minute, you immediately come back to life as by the reincarnate spell. I don't. Oh no, provided the effect casts a spell, so technically that would work. Cast fly, cast mirror image, polymorph on yourself. <laughs> I don't think you want to polymorph yourself because you turn into a sheep if, if you fail the save. Um, fog cloud. Like, honestly, just getting 18 sorcery points feels like the best option for that. Uh, unless you really kind of want to finish them off. At which point you just go magic missile, I guess. Uh, I think this is fine. I just saw, like, in the table, there's roll a d10. Your height changes by a number of inches equal to the roll. If the roll is odd, you shrink. If the roll is even, you grow. So technically, that means that the average sorcerer, the more magic they cast, the more they grow. Because in theory, you will... Because, like, on average, you'll... If you grow, on average, you'll grow 6 inches. On average, if you shrink, you'll, grow, you'll shrink 5 inches. Right, and you have a fifty percent chance of either happening. So on average, you're always going to grow more than you shrink. So in theory, a all all wild magic sorcerers are tall, because and and you can technically see by how tall they are, how experienced they are in their crafts. <laughs> I don't know. It's like that's a random a random thing that popped up into my head. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Technically, you only have a 1 in 50 chance every single time this happens to, to, you know, get this effect, but still. Um, am I sticking to the idea that I don't think wild magic should be in the player's handbook? At this current point, yes. Um, again, I'm not saying wild magic is not allowed to be in the game. Honestly... It's allowed, I think it's allowed to be, I just don't think it fits in the player's handbook. And the only reason I'm bringing that up is because people have said that about um, Clockwork and Aberrant. So, again, not the hell I'm going to die on, but I do think it's something to, to think about. Uh, we're not seeing Aberrant or Clockwork, are we? Yeah, no, we're not. Because I just realized that those are Tasha subclasses and they don't want to put those in. Or is it? It's, it's at level 3, right? Yeah. Aberrant Sorcery, Clockwork Sorcery, Dragonic Sorcery, Wild Magic Sorcery. Yeah, so they are not even putting in the fact that Aberrant and Clockwork aren't in this bundle, which is just stupid. Okay, well, thank you, wizards, for being that lazy. Oh, well. Okay, well, next page.